Hello Pisces! Welcome to your weekly reading with me, Cindy. So Pisces. I don't know why my voice got deep there. I was trying to be sexy, but then it really worked. <laughs> it kind of ended up looking kind of goofy. So Pisces! Um, this week is the surprise week. So in my readings for, you know, what goes on throughout the month. So this is the surprise. So the surprise that I've asked for um, is surprising clarity. So we're going to ask your spirit guides, the universe, the tarot, what the topic is that they're going to bring you surprising clarity in. So hopefully this clarity will give you a better understanding of a situation that you might be in or you've been struggling with. Um, it might enable you to make a choice that you've been trying to figure out how do I make this choice? What should I do? I don't understand. So I thought, wouldn't it be great to give everybody surprising clarity? Yeah, like you can make a choice. You can do something. You can figure out what you want to do. So Pisces, it worked. At, well, I think it did. It worked out really good for Aquarius because it's the first time I've done a reading like this before. So of course, they're always the experiment because they're first. And yeah, I think actually it was kind of an interesting story. So Pisces, let's see where this goes for you. What is the topic? What is it that we are going to bring surprising clarity to Pisces in today? Surprising clarity for Pisces. Wow. Interesting. The Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot card. Oh, the Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot card. Wow. Isn't that interesting how this dude hold in the chariot, he's holding something. I mean, it's a, it's a circular object, just like this Ace of Pentacles. So it's kind of mimicking that he's holding like this Ace of Pentacles to me. This movement, this Ace of Pentacles, I want to say it's either like, um, it could be a new home, it could be a new car, it could be a new job, something like that to me. It's significant. It's an ace. It's a new beginning, um, a new opportunity here that's physically tangible in this day and time for you. It might be something to do with wood. I don't know if that means anything to anybody. Wood. What's made out of wood these days? Well, they do the framing for houses out of wood. A dock, a deck? No. But I'm just saying that because I'm noticing this golden pentacle, there's a red cross in the middle, but on the outside of the golden pentacle is like the stump. The stump, the spherical, spherical stump. I'm trying to get it to focus. Sorry, I'm not trying to mesmerize you or anything. You see, it's a, it's a log. It's sitting there on a log. You know, I guess you could say that it's just really clarifying that it's something three-dimensional, something built. So it's the beginning of building something brand new in your life. And with the chariot, the movement of that, like it happening, it going, like what's going on? Why hasn't it happened? But there might be something significant for somebody regarding wood. Maybe you wanted to build a new deck and you haven't had the funds to do it. When is that coming in? I thought that was coming in. I thought the plans were going to be made. I thought, you know, it's something that perhaps you wanted to get built here. And it's not, uh, there's no movement on this. There has been no movement on this. How do we get this moving? Something that you're very passionate about. Something that you are very passionate about. That's weird. I just got somebody, well, it's not weird, but it's really out there. Somebody wanting to do a tree planting at a local church. I don't know. So you can see how this is going to play out in very many, in very different ways for many different people. But it's something, some kind of three-dimensional project you've wanted. The project could be a new home. Like I said, it could be something as significant as that. Could be a new car. Maybe you really need a new car. It could be a new deck. <laughs> it could be a tree planting at... Um, at a church. I'm just getting that because of the red cross in the middle. So with the red cross, I want to say something. Um, something where you're kind of giving your time to the community, perhaps. Wanting to give your time to the community and this building this foundation 
Um, sorry, someone's <laughs> just looking out the window. And it's so funny because my close friend who's a Pisces, <laughs> her parents live five doors down from where I am at this house. And she actually just <laughs> drove down. So I'm like, oh, that's so funny. I'm doing her reading too. Um, yeah, so that's interesting. So let's find out, shall we? I'm going to go into, that was the Millennium Toth deck, and this is the Magical Dogs Tarot. They're going to tell us more. What is this? Ace of Pentacles for one thing. I know it's the movement of it. Like, we're going to give you some clarity here on the movement of this project or this thing that you've really wanted or to build this foundation for something. Give us more information. Give Pisces more information about this Ace of Pentacles. What does it really represent for them? What does it represent for them? It could re represent something, you know, that has to do with, with love. It could represent something that has to do with a mental development. Like, there's all sorts of things it could be, right? So what is it? Wow. Wow. The Six of Cups and the Hermit card. This is something you definitely want to do with a soulmate. There's some sort of connection here with soulmate or soulmates. There's five little dogs in the six of cups. So again, it feels like community. So community, your soul tribe. Oh, it is interesting. I'm not sure what this has to do with building something, but it's a pentacle, so it must. Um, okay, now this is funny. You know, this is how I read the tarot sometimes, and it comes in real strong. Look at, you see the hermit card? Do you see how he's standing there and he's watching everybody swimming and having a good time? I feel like either you're the hermit card, or someone you know in your soul tribe is the hermit card. And, you know, everybody's coming out having a good time. Come on, come out and have a good time. Come on, come out with us. Come on. Like, there's no movement, right? With the chariot, it's, they're not moving towards the good time. I feel like maybe there's something you want to build or create that you think would entice this hermit to come out. <laughs> or you're waiting for somebody to build and create something to entice you to come out of some sort of, well, the Hermit is all about self-reflecting, looking for answers, going deep within. Really like sort of taking yourself away from things that maybe you would normally do in the day-to-day -day or reducing that to spend more time just reflecting. Yeah, the Hermit's just standing there watching everyone else swimming and having a good time. to Pisces. Who is this hermit to Pisces? Who is the hermit to Pisces? Who is the hermit to Pisces? Oh, the six of swords. Okay. So the hermit to you represents the energy of either the energy that you are in, or I want to say someone in your soul tribe is in, of getting into a better place, working towards that, which really makes a lot of sense with the Hermit. They're reflecting, they've pulled away from um, a lot of other things going on in their life, or you have. You see how this energy plays out? It was kind of like that with Aquarius at any... Mm, there were times where it felt like it could have been reversed for some people. The more and more people I read for, it just gets like... This energy can go back and forth sometimes. So take it... Take the reading how it resonates with you because it is general. Um, but if it's you, this is representing you are in the hermit mode to try to pull yourself out of the energy that you're in to go into better energy, right? You're not really sure where that good energy is taking you. You're just like, like, let's just get there. Let's go there. And so if the hermit is someone you're connected with, this is how you identify them. You know that they're trying to get into a better place. They're trying to go somewhere better. 
I'm really though, this Ace of Pentacles, I know, I, you know, it doesn't have to make sense to me. It just has to make sense to you guys. It's the same thing like when I'm doing a general read or um, a private reading. Sometimes I'll do a reading and I'm like, I hope this makes sense to you because I don't understand it. Like it's not my job to understand it. I just convey the story. And yeah, and then they'll email me and tell me, yeah, this was right on. <laughs> it's okay. This Ace of Pentacles, there's something that you want to build though and it's not moving and it has something to do with this hermit energy. So I'm just going to go back into the Millennium Toth deck and I'm going to just have cards come out because that seems like the best way to get the story out with Aquarius, to get the clarity in here. All right. One is on the floor. That's the most significant. And then we have two, three, four cards on the table. Wow. This is interesting. Okay, so the first card that came out is the star. This is most significant. It's going to sit on its own there on my little pile on the table here. You see, on the edge like that. There we go. So the star. Then you have the queen of cups. She ran energy. Sorry. Um, actually, I don't, I don't, I'm not big on it's this sign. I like it in private readings because I identify people that way or their energy for wands, for fire and water, for Pisces, that sort of thing. Like, um, But this is cancer energy. <laughs> this is Aquarian energy. I would say that this is like your energy, this queen of cups. Love, emotion, mutual, devotion. <laughs> kind of rhymed. <laughs> That's funny. I've been I've got into this. I bought it a long time ago. I never started using it. The Witch's Oracle. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And um, it's all rhymey. Like the incantation for something. What I just opened this up, Raven. My ears are open, so please do speak. It's your ancient wisdom I do seek. I give thanks to you on bended knee, because if there were no you, there would be no me. <laughs> I love it. It's kind of like early rap. <laughs> so maybe I'm talking a bit like that now. So then you get the fortune card, which is like the wheel of fortune. And then we get the sun, Leo energy. Ooh, and then we get the 10 of swords. Ouch. I really feel like it's so funny. Doing the Aquarian reading, it was the same thing. It was like the energy kind of played back and forth. And then I got the big pile out. It was like, it's a person you're dealing with. And it makes sense because if you need clarity, do you really need clarity about yourself? You're the only one that can get that. So I think this is clarity about someone that you're dealing with, somebody who's significant to you. It could be a spouse. It could be a parent, a child, a sibling. It could be a friend. They're in the hermit mode. I'm going to stick with that from these other cards that have come out because honestly, I don't know that you need clarity about yourself, maybe. Um, but your person, this person, there's an awful lot of magic about them actually right now. There's an awful lot of magic about them. Really uh, interesting magic, crazy shit. I never looked into this card so deeply before. Wow. This is a very different energy than I've seen this card in before, this um, focus. It's very different. All these crystals below and just the movement of... Um, you know, the depiction of the energy moving around with this person and the stars. This person is actually, I want to say, it might look like they're not in a good place, but they certainly are. They certainly are in a good place, but they've come from a very bad place. They've come from a very bad place here. And I feel like you're observing them. It's kind of funny. You're watching with this Queen of Cups. See how she's got, look at her eyes. Her eyes are kind of looking towards that fortune card, that wheel of fortune. It's almost like 
but you know, her head isn't, but her eyes are starting to move there. She's just like, you know, peripheral vision. Nobody, when I can't do with these glasses now, that's kind of the hard part. I used to be able to, you know, sneak stare at someone, you can be like, they can't tell that I'm looking at her. But with my glasses having the little spots, you gotta kind of turn your head or everything blurry. So now I know why old people are always turning their heads to look at stuff. But it's, yeah, it's as if you're watching them, observing them more than maybe they realize. I actually feel like this is the thing. This is the interesting message. I feel like you're trying somehow on a very deep spiritual level. I don't even know if it's through meditation or just the, you know, because her body isn't facing this Wheel of Fortune card. The Wheel of Fortune card, I should clarify, to me feels like maybe something that's gone on for your person that you're observing. Maybe something that's gone on for your person that you're observing. And you're wondering, like you've seen something happen, something has changed for them that's brought them into this hermit mode, this self-reflection. And you're watching sort of cautiously and you are directing a lot of your intuitive attention to them by doing this, like, you know, just the, the symbolism of the eyes looking but not the body. You're focused, you're busy, you're doing the things that you do day to day, you're working on that, but intuitively, intuitively you are very, very much connected and directing your energy to this person. And it's almost as if, well, it's not almost as if, it is, you are, yeah, there's the clarifier as I'm saying this, and there it is. The Wheel of Fortune, in here, I'm gonna stand up, <laughs> this camera, oh, me and this camera. So, the Wheel of Fortune, look at, there's a sun in the middle of it, and then here's the sun beside. So I'm feeling like you are on a very intuitive level sending this, trying to send this happiness and this clarity and this sort of celebration type energy to your person, whoever that is for you, who is kind of in this hermit mode. You're trying to send it to them, but here's the thing, it's blocked. They can't receive right now. I'm getting that with this Ten of Swords. It's completely blocked. They can't receive it right now. And I'm feeling like perhaps you're a little dumbfounded, like, I don't know if you've done this before for other people with, you know, you see someone go through something and you are able to intuitively or energetically, you know, maybe you're sort of um, very empathic and you, you're, you're, I want to say an evolved, an evolved empath where you not only absorb other people's energies, but you are able to send some of your own, like very healing, like a very healing energy that you have about you. And you're almost like, I don't understand why it's not, why it's not serving this person yet. It's not, because there's a block here. There's a big block. But it's funny, it doesn't feel like a bad block. Something's happened, obviously. I mean, they have a sword. The person has a sword, a broken sword through the heart. So it tells me the sword is broken, so the battle is done, the damage has been done, whatever's happened to your person. But they are in a good energy. I feel they're in a very protected energy and perhaps that's why nothing is getting in that you're sending them. So there's some of the clarity. You know, because here they are with this star. There's all these crystals below them, feeling like they are very protected. They're protecting their energy. And they are only playing with their own energy right now. Ah, they are only playing with their own energy right now. They won't accept any other energy, even if it's a good energy. I don't know why, but maybe they just need to be in only their energy. Perhaps they've been overwhelmed by other energies around them for a time, and now they need just their energy. Almost as if a person who maybe was... Um, 
involved with or serving others for a very long time and now that burden has been dropped and now they're trying to figure out again like okay well who am I or who was I before I gave so much of myself into something I'm saying as I know this can easily play out to be like the cross energy for a Pisces because I know you guys do that a lot um so yeah again take it as it resonates but there is um whether it's you or a person for you they're blocking all other energies at this time but it's a really strong powerful growth that they're going through with the star i mean it's really talking about balancing their uh their emotions and their feelings and their connection to their deeper self so that they can manifest strongly because the star, star card is about, you know, wishes. It's about wishes. But, you know, wishing, you know, think about it, like wishing upon a star. However, if you're not in the right energy, you can't man you can't make a good wish on the star. So I feel like that's what they're doing. There's the clarity for you. This person is working on going into a really good energy. They're actually in a pretty good energy now. And I think they may be going towards the sun on their own here or at least be, be more um receptive to to your energy that you're trying to send to them once they've completed the star okay so let's go into my little teeny tiny tarot deck here now people have asked i honestly have no idea what this deck is called i can't even remember i just call it my teeny tiny tarot and I love it because for clarifying, you can just pile them all over the place. And you can still see the, the large main card that it was clarifying. So the star, let's get clarification for this star energy. Clarification for the star. Oh, jeez. Yeah, just let them be. <laughs> They're all good. Oh my gosh. They're good. Everything is good. If Maybe if that's a concern. <laughs> Maybe you're concerned about this person. Or if you're concerned about yourself, it's good. It's all good. The world and the six of wands. Jeez Louise. Closing off a major cycle. Closing off a major cycle, but going into a major cycle. The cycle to end all cycles. Wow. With the six of wands. Victory. Here we go. Why got it? We're good. I'm okay. I don't need anyone's energy right now. I need to know mine because I need to know the strength in my energy is kind of the message I'm getting about this. Wow. Yeah, this person is on their way to finding victory. So there's your clarity. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Don't really worry about it. It's all good. Whether that's your energy or their energy, that's really good. The world with the six of wands. So there's been like a major, major closing off for them and a major opening up. But they are in the star. So I feel that they've probably, or you, however this plays out, have probably gone through like this hermit. And look at him, he's starting to come out of the cave, right? I think that's about to happen here. I think the hermit is starting to creep out of the cave. Your hermit or you as the hermit are starting to creep out of the cave because the star energy is very positive. That's an indication if they're just entering that or they've just hit it, it's good. They're good. They're good. Don't worry. That's a funny reading. I still would like to know what the wood is all about. <laughs> what is the wood all about? There's something about the wood in this. Maybe it's not W-O-O-D. <laughs> Maybe it's W-O-U-L-D. They would. You would. You would what? I don't know. I'm going to ask. It's like it's like getting me into the witch's oracle, right? Like playing with the words. You would. They would what? What is the wood? The wood is good. But I came up wrong. Uh, that's okay. We got it. This is funny. Wow. I don't know what this wood is, but it's really good. It's the Knight of Pentacles. Is it a little slow? Okay, it's a little slow with the Knight of Pentacles, but I think it's worth waiting for this wood because then it's the Ten of Pentacles in the Sun. 
And it's the Ten of Pentacles in the Sun. Oh, it's, that's good. Whatever this wood is, it's very good. But yes, I can see why the chariot here is because we've been waiting a long freaking time for it. You know, when somebody's delivering Utopia to you, I guess it's worth waiting for. That's all I'm going to say. Because the Ten of Pentacles with the Sun, that's good energy. And the world with the Six of Wands, that's a massive victory in the cycle to end all cycles. Going into something good and never going back into bad again. Really? I want to say, yeah. Going into something good and never going back into bad again. Whether that's you or your person. However that needs to play out for you. Okay. All right. Thank you, Pisces. I hope that gave you some clarity. Um, I don't know. If it wasn't your reading, I might have just left you confused. But then that means it wasn't for you. It was for someone who really needed clarity on something. And um, yeah. Until next time, guys, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.